to the weekly live stream. I am so excited about this live stream. Oh my gosh. Okay, while I wait to get into it, I'm going to post on my Instagram to let everyone know that we have started it today. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this live stream forever. And we finally have it today. It's a, it's a bit of a different one than our usual live streams, but I hope that it will be a fun one nonetheless. Okay. Paint by Numbers Live. Yay, hello, hi Lily, hi Jesse, hi Fluffy the Sheep, hello everyone in the comments. <gasps> hi Lucy, they said it's my first live in a long time. <gasps> Well, welcome back. Welcome back to the live streams. I am so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So, oh, Rose said, is your microphone still broken? Luckily, Spencer was able to get it working today. So that's what you are hearing me from. The only thing that I'm a little like iffy about is whether there's an echo. So right now I'm trying to play some chill, non-copyright, lo-fi music. If you guys can hear it, let me know. Here, I'll, I'll stop talking. Can you guys hear that? I don't know. Um, I turned it down because I don't know if it's going to echo or not. So right now I'm playing it out of my computer speakers. Um, and that's the only way my computer's picking up on it right now. So I don't know if my microphone is echoing it back and forth with the, kind of the computer or not. We'll see. Oh, it says, Lily says slight echo, but you should, but you sound stuffy and I can hear the music. Oh no, I feel, I sound stuffy. <laughs> oh no. Okay, wait, I gotta see this. <laughs> okay, let me, let me check my, my audio real quick. <laughs> no. If it's, uh, I texted Spencer about it, um, so we'll see what he says to fix it. No, I'm, I'm listening through my phone. <laughs> Um, yeah, let me know if you like the music, if you don't like the music. I could turn the music off until I figure out how to fix it. But thank you to everyone who says they love my hat. It's a little froggy hat, and I just think it is so cute. Spencer um, got it for me for my birthday last year, and I haven't worn it in any videos yet. Okay, it sounds like the music is fine, but my audio is kind of crazy, so I'm going to... Turn this down. Okay, does that sound better? I don't know. We will see. Um, uh, Shaley says, where is Spencer? Spencer is at work right now. So if he was here, he'd be my IT support guy. But uh, <laughs> I have to text him my issues. And then he has to text me back how to fix it. I should just learn this stuff myself. <laughs> oh, it sounds better? <gasps> yes. Yes. Okay. So, welcome to the live stream, everybody. Um, we are doing a paint by numbers live stream. Now, I've wanted to do this for so long, and you guys know I have been obsessed with paint by numbers forever. Like, well, actually, not forever, but probably since COVID. That's when I really got into it, was paint by numbers. Um, I just think it's so relaxing, so calming. It's a nice way for me to unwind and just like not have to think about anything else. And so I usually do paint by numbers in the evening, um, like when I'm done with everything for the day and getting ready for for bed and I when I go paint my numbers I paint my numbers hard guys like I will sit and paint for like five hours straight like my eyeballs staring at the canvas not looking anywhere else until the end and then everything is blurry <laughs> like I get so concentrated so we will see um how this goes. I'm going to try my best to chat with you guys while I paint and uh, I know a lot of you guys have brought your own paint by numbers supplies to paint along with me so I'm super excited about that. I think that is so fun. I love, I just love so much that we get to do this together so if you have your own paint by number supplies, uh, break it out or if you have like those little gemstones you can follow along, do that with me if you don't have any of that, that's totally fine. You can just chill and watch and relax with us or if you have any other art supplies you want to do, um, sketches or other paintings, bring it along. Okay. Oh, 
yes. Okay, so Dead Set Dead Cat said, "Can we pick the painting?" So that is the drama of today. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I have to give you a little back story to this morning. So this morning I woke up and I was like, I, oh, I'm i so excited for paint my numbers. I got all my stuff ready to go. So this is the painting that I have been working on for months, all right? It's of like arches or uh, Bryce Canyon, something in Moab, Utah. This right here is a giant arch and then it overlooks, like it has a big opening and you can see like in some of the valley and like the rocky, uh, the rocks and uh, the Rocky Mountains. I don't know, not the Rocky Mountains, but rocky red rocks. Okay, but the white parts on the canvas are not supposed to be white. I'm supposed to paint those in with numbers, but these numbers, these paint colors are dry and crusty. And I've tried to revive them. It is so, so hard to revive acrylic paint when it is dry as the desert. So if you guys have any um, suggestions or tips on how to do it, I have tried like using this which is acrylic paint medium. I don't know if it's like thinner or whatever, paint thinner. I tried using water. It's so hard though. So we're not gonna be painting this one today, but I just wanna show it off because I'm almost done with it, but I have to revive the paint, so that's awesome. Okay, next up, here's my other issue, okay? So, I was like, all right, that's fine. I've got a backup painting I can paint. This is a, a canvas Spencer gave me for Christmas, about, like, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. I got a bunch of paint-by-numbers stuff, and it's actually custom. It's a custom paint-by-numbers of us. I don't know if you could tell, but this is me, this is Spencer, and this is, the background is Bryce Canyon. I just love red rocks and all that stuff, and uh, this is the the hardest one I've ever like look at how tiny those numbers are you guys can't even see them they're so microscopic so I was gonna do that one today guess what the paint is dry and crusty all of them so crusty dusty I could revive some of them but not all of them revived so I made a quick run to Hobby Lobby that's right I was like the show must go on we are not quitting here we are gonna do this paint by numbers live stream okay so i ran to hobby lobby if you're wondering where you can get paint by numbers you could probably get them at any craft store i order most of mine actually off of amazon this is my first um hobby lobby paint by numbers so i got some supplies guys this is a huge bag <laughs> me I got some supplies and I grabbed two paint by numbers kits that you guys get to decide which one we paint today and if you guys like this live stream then we'll do a future one maybe with the second um, one that you didn't choose so let me show you our options today so we have option number one. Oh, I think this one is so beautiful so this is what option number one looks like it's the beach and at like full moon, nighttime. I love the colors. I love when there's a variety of colors on paint by numbers because I kind of get bored of doing like all red tones, all blue tones, like all the same color. So I like that there's like pops of pink throughout this. And I just think this is very cool. I just, very peaceful. So we got option one. Option number two, I'll, I'll make a poll for this by the way. Option number two is this one <laughs> here we go this one gives me like summer lake vibes like renting a cabin out in the middle of like montana somewhere and chilling um with the ocean not the ocean but the lake view and sipping your little drink in your yard chair like i love the pine trees Oh, very mountain girl vibes. We got mountain girl vibes, beachy girl vibes. So this is number two. This is number one. Number one, number two. Number one, number two. Okay, I'm gonna make a poll and we'll see which one you guys want me to start today. I've Once again, I've never done a paint by numbers with this brand before from Hobby Lobby, but I'm excited about it. Okay, let me make a, a little poll here. Which art set? Um, painting one and painting two. 
Okay, number one is the beach. Number two was the lake. So we'll see. I just put the poll up, so go vote in the poll if you have an opinion of which one you want to see. Um, Imogen Fairbrother says, put a bit of water then in a microwave for a bit, then mix it. It should work. <gasps> for real? In a microwave? I never thought about that. I am going to try yours. Anissa says, Odge mix vinegar and water and alcohol, and it works. I did it. It truly works. Also, I love the first one. I'm about to go to Hawaii. <gasps> oh, my gosh. That's so exciting. I'm so excited for you. You're going to absolutely love Hawaii. Thank you so much for that tip. Okay. Vinegar, water, and alcohol, and it works. I'm going to have to try these because I'm so sad that my paints are crusty dry, and I, I want to finish these paintings. Like, I don't want to just throw them away. That seems... Like, all hard work down the drain, you know? Um, <gasps> Ashley Short says, this is my first live. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Kamora says, oh, hi, Audrey, you're the first one, and you were so gorgeous. Oh, thank you so very much. It looks like painting number one is in the lead with 67%. So that looks like what is going to uh, be the one today. But if you want the second one, make sure to vote. Um, softball had says, what is your favorite paint by number you did? That is so hard. I've done so many. Like, how many have I done? Four, five, six, almost seven. At least six I've done, if not seven. <gasps> Actually, eight. Let me show you something real quick. I got... This little baby Bob Ross uh, paint by numbers for Christmas. <laughs> and this one was actually hard because I had to mix my own paints. All the painting, all the paint by numbers that I've done before it came with the paints already pre-mixed. It just had to match them up and stuff. This one I had to know like color theory and stuff. And I'm not an artist, guys, but I can paint within the lines. So this is my first one that I had to mix, Bob Ross edition. And it is so cute. It's on this mini little easel. It's of the mountains with a lake. Oh, uh, so that one was fun. Uh, we did this for a date, I think. Did we film it? I think we filmed it. It's in a video on Audrey and Spencer channel. Also, all the paintings that you see on this wall with the uh, window, there's like four on this wall, but you kind of see one and a half. Those are some of my paint my numbers. I think my favorite one though is probably the one I painted for my parents for Christmas one year. It's in their living room right now, and it's one of like the beach and the ocean since that matches their house uh, theme with the blue tones and the tans and stuff. So what's funny about that though is because I have like it takes me about six months to a full year to paint to do a full paint by numbers. So it's a long-term project for me. Um, and that one, because I've been staring at it so closely, like literally like this close, like painting, I didn't realize that what I was painting was ocean waves until months later I looked at it from far away. I was like, oh my gosh, it's ocean waves in the sand. And like, <laughs> it was so funny because I was just like this close to it. I couldn't see the full picture of what I was doing until months later when I took a step back. And that's kind of deep. That's kind of a deep thing, guys. <laughs> Could see the full picture, but I think that one's one of my favorites. I don't know. I just really got into paint by numbers. It's one of my favorite things. Okay, well, I'm going to put this one back real quick, but it looks like the uh, ocean one, number one, this one, one with 70%. So let's do a little unboxing. I feel like this should be like ASMR. I don't got any nails anymore though. <laughs> so you guys gotta see a great close up of my non fingernail nails because I bite them off. Which I'll talk about why I took my nails off uh, later in this live stream. Okay, so I actually got a couple of cams set up. So we have the main cam and we've got a close up cam. Are you guys ready for this? Oh man, I have to back up. <laughs> I have to get this all sorted out. Okay, are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Now activating paint cam. Oh yeah, look at this, guys! Ooh, ooh. 
I can't believe I just did that. Okay, well, let's uh, open this, see what's inside. Let me just grab some scissors. Um, if you're painting along, uh, comment down below what paint by numbers set, like what are you painting? Ooh, Spencer replied. He says, just turn on the physical dial on your speakers to zero. You won't be able to hear it, but they still can. <gasps> Well, that's sad. I won't be able to hear all my own music, but I'm going to test that out. Can you guys hear the music still? <gasps> I think you can. Let me turn it up a little bit. So you guys get vibey music, but I can't hear the vibey music. So let me know if the vibey music is good. <laughs> okay, let me unbox this. Hello? Hello there. Oh, I also bought, as you can see, a bunch of acrylic paints while I was at Hobby Lobby in case I can't revive my crusty dusty paints. Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, wait, you can't hear the music? What? Okay, one minute. I, I will fix this. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Let's see, can you see this? I'm trying to get a good angle. It's really zoomed in. I'm using Spencer's camera. Oh, here we go. Here, I'm gonna do it on the face cam. This is what it looks like on a paper. Um, oh wow, there's lots of instructions. Let me uh, get this sorted out real quick. Okay, so you can't hear the music, but I can't. Oh wait, what? It says you can though. That is so weird. Okay, well, I'm turning the music back up. Hopefully it's not too echoey or too bad. I'm gonna tell Spencer that you can't hear it. <laughs> IT support! <laughs> okay. Well, let's take a look at these paints. Crossing my fingers, they aren't crusty, because if it came crusty to me, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay. Oh yeah, you can hear the music. Yeah, I just put it back on the speakers. Hopefully it's not too echoey. So the paints come in this. I think there's more in here though. Got some more. Wow, they're really deep into there. We got a lot of paints. These are all acrylic, right? I'm used to painting with acrylic. I think so. I don't know, actually. I don't know if it says it's acrylic. I guess we will see. All right, time to unbox these. Let's see what we got ourselves into. Dead Cat says, this is my first time seeing an open paint by number set besides an app on my phone I use. Oh yeah, they do have those apps where you can just like fill in with your finger. Yeah, this is a little bit different. I have never seen paints come like this before. Okay, so how does this, how does this work? What? So this is interesting because it's like, this it has a number. Hand model, beauty guru moment. It has a number and then another number in parentheses or like letters. I hate reading instructions. I really don't want to read these instructions, but I might have to, honestly. Okay, there's like X's on here too. Does that mean just don't paint it? And there's letters. I've never had letters on my canvases before. That is so strange. A new experience for us all, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna open all these. Yay, everyone loves my hat. Thank you, guys. I think it is so cute and so fun, but I never know, like, where to wear it to. Actually, I got inspired by this one girl. Um, we were on a little family.
family road trip. We filmed it this past summer. We went on that like crazy roller coaster off the mountain in Colorado. So at that amusement park, if you haven't checked out the video, you're probably like, what the heck? Check it out, all around Audrey. Um, <laughs> anyways, we went to this amusement park on the top of a mountain in Colorado, and there was this girl there that was wearing a frog bucket hat. Not this exact one, but similar. And I was like, oh, that is so cute. And so I told Spencer for my birthday, I wanted a frog frog bucket hat and he found there's a lot of options on Amazon so that's where he got it from but I don't know like where to wear it because I feel like if I wear it out to like grocery shopping I feel like people will look at me like I'm weird <laughs> but should I just not care what people think I think I should probably just not care <laughs> just gotta rock the frog look <laughs> and I wore a green shirt to match today okay so here's all of our paint rings I think Spencer texted me back let's see what he said um, hmm okay so I gotta change something real quick oh, this is so confusing if the, if the music is okay with you guys, then I'm just gonna leave it, but if it's annoying, then I'll try to fix it. Just let me know what you guys want me to do. Okay, should we get started? Why is there letters on here? Okay, where's the instructions? <laughs> gonna break out the instructions. I hate reading instructions. I just read it like this. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Oh wait, it tells me right here. Oh, there's techniques I'm supposed to do? Techniques? Oh. Wait, we use dry brushing as shown by the dash lines. Paint the areas on either side of the dash lines and let them dry. Pick up a bit of the lighter color on your brush. Dab it on a paper towel to remove the excess. The brush is almost dry. Lightly dab the paint the edge of the darker color. You want the lighter color than the darker color. Paint all the areas. Add details to some items to give depth and character. So we don't want to see hands. Wait, what? I do have to make colors, kind of. I found it! So right here, it tells me which colors represent which numbers. And then the letters on my paint by number board are the colors that I have to mix together. Swell. <laughs> we probably won't get that far so we're just gonna start off with normal numbers before we get into the mixing ones because that's gonna be a little bit too advanced for me guys okay oh fun of the sheep says wear the hat st patrick's day so true this would have been perfect outfit <laughs> lily says i'm being impatient and blowing the paint <laughs> okay yeah let's start painting guys let's start painting okay I've got my board here. Here's the instructions. I don't think I need this right now. I think. Wait, let me look at it one more time just in case. 17 and 18, that says I have to mix, but I don't understand. We're just gonna start off with number one. Or what can we see on here? I'm gonna look for a number on here. Wow, there's like some tiny, tiny numbers. Should we start off with number seven? We're going out of order. Okay, now I gotta find number seven, 38. Start off with this green town. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Okay. So the the camera for um, my paint by numbers screen is not as good as the camera for my face because this is actually, this is Spencer's webcam and this is my webcam, which, they're both about the same amount of money, guys, and mine is way better quality than his, which is so annoying. So we're going to have to invest in a new webcam for him, but it's the only one we have right now. <gasps> Fresh paint! It is so 
It is so nice seeing not dry, crusty paint. You don't even know. Okay, we're going in. We're making the first mark. We're making the first mark. Oh, I already got paint on me. And we're starting off with green because, I mean, we're wearing green. Actually, I didn't mean to do that on purpose, but okay. Let's dip it in. I love to go in with the tiny, tiny brushes because I like to be super precise with um, my paintings. So, okay, where can you see on my board? Let's see, I'll start right here. Oh man, man, when I'm painting, I'm usually like this close to my face. So this is gonna be hard. <laughs> I have to actually go further away than normal. Wow, we need the first line. Can you even see that? <laughs> the first line. Oh no, guys, this is gonna get me back into paint by numbers every day. Like I've been taking a slight little break from paint by numbers because um, because my paints were rusty, crusty, dusty, and it's just not motivating when you have crusty paints to try to fix them. It's not fun. So fresh paint, this is where it's at. Should I surprise my family and give this painting to them when I'm done? Unless my mother is watching. Mother, are you watching this? Sometimes she joins the live stream, so I never know. Oh, my hands are shaky. Why are they shaky? This is not a good activity to have shaky hands for. Um, but I think this will be a fun one to surprise my parents with because it's beach themed and their house is beach themed. And they liked the last one that I gave them. We'll just have to see when this painting is done if it matches um, their house vibes. But you guys already know what our house looks like, so you can let me know if you think it would work. Oh my gosh, my hand is so shaky. Why are you shaky? This is not the time. Wow, this tiny little leaf. I just want to do a giant section, but I have to work on the tiniest little thing. These uh, things are so small. Marion says, Audrey, can you do a prank week when Joy comes back? She won't see it coming. Actually, April Fool's Day is tomorrow, and I am posting an April Fool's Day prank food bake-off. Um, and I'm so excited about it. It was so funny. We're bringing back the pranks for that video. Um, so should I prank Jordan when she comes back? Because she definitely won't see it coming. But, um... That video, you, go, you guys are going to have to watch it tomorrow. It'll come out tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time on the main channel, All Around Audrey. Oh my gosh, where... Do you guys see what I'm doing? It's right here. But where does it end? Oh my goodness, it's so small. I don't even know where my train of thought was going with this. Um... But yeah, we pranked my brothers in that video. So if you haven't seen our bake-offs, basically my parents and I, we, we do these bake-offs basically every week. Um, and we have a theme, so this one was a prank. So we try to make the food look different than it actually is. Um, and so they bite into it thinking it's one thing, but it's a totally different food than it looks like. I just, yeah, it was so funny. The reactions were priceless. Like, Ty was just laughing so hard. Okay, we got our first section done. What do you guys think of this tiny little thing where we started on a palm tree? Literally a palm tree. Oh my goodness gracious. I want to start on a big section. Should we do 11? Usually when I do paint by numbers, I go like... I, I go in order from like one to however many there are and then I like I I stay true to that number like I do all the ones and then I do all the twos and then all the threes but I think it'll be fun if we like kind of swap between them plus I'm getting tired of doing the tiny little ones I like doing the big sections because they're easier so let's skip on to 11 which is this nice lovely blue I think it's the sky let me make sure yeah we're gonna do blue because we did our green. So I'm gonna open that, but <laughs> this is what it's looking like. So now you guys understand. <laughs> Dead Cat 
this beautiful blob of art. I know, right? It's so amazing. Put it up in a museum. But now you guys understand, like, literally, how long did that take me to do that tiny little section? Like, this is why it takes me months. I think it'd be so fun <laughs> to, like, open up an Etsy shop, like, doing pay-by-numbers for other people. But literally, you would not get your pay-by-numbers for a year. You'd have to pre-order your paint by <laughs> for so long in advance. Like, it would not be worth it. But I just love doing this. I also want to get into, like, crocheting and stuff. I think it'd be fun to make. Ooh, ASMR. <laughs> I think it'd be fun to make blankets or actually, like, a 3D axolotl stuffed animal. Oh, so fun. But I can't figure out how to crochet for the life of me. I just am not good at the chains. So, okay, back to back to painting cam. We got big face cam, little painting cam, and then we got big painting cam, little face cam. So, <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this area right here in blue. Yes, so satisfying. Ah, <gasps> oh, this is so awesome. Why does this bring me so much happiness? <laughs> For real though. Actually, this canvas is a different material than I'm used to painting it on as well. So this is all new to me. Now you guys can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, Lily says, axolotls are my favorite. Some people actually have pet axolotls, which are so cute. I feel like it'd be hard to take care of, but I don't know, like, the extent of how to care for an axolotl. But that'd be a cute little pet to have, if you could figure out how to take care of it. <laughs> okay, going back to the story of why my, my nails are gone. So I, I used to never be a nail girly. Like, I used to never get my nails done at a salon unless it was like for very very special occasions until I finished school and then I moved back closer to my family then I started going to the nail salon more often and actually went for like months I would get them like touched up every month and it was nice because I am a nail biter so it prevented me from just like biting my nails constantly that's mostly why I did it plus they looked cute but last weekend, I actually went to my very first Taekwondo competition, and um, you are not allowed to fight with nails on because you might scratch your opponent, and I don't know, like it could be bad if something wrong happened. So uh, I had to take them off, and I actually took them off at home, um, which I think you can go to a salon and take them off, but I didn't find out that I had to take them off till the day before that I left. <laughs> so I like Google searched how to take acrylic nails off at home. It was a long process. I had to soak my nails in like acetone for like half an hour. Then I had to like shave them down with a nail file. And then I had to, um, I just ended up like clipping off the long parts of it and then shaving down even more. Now, Needless to say, no longer have nails, and I went back to biting them, because the thing with me is that if the nail isn't perfectly smooth and even, if there's just one tiny little imperfection on the nail, I'm going to chew it off, and then it just, like, you can't stop me, because I don't realize I'm doing it. It's, yeah, so that happened, but the competition was crazy! Um, if you guys didn't know, we, we do Taekwondo, <laughs> and um, I talk about it quite a bit, I guess. We have some videos on it. We are yellow belts with a green stripe. We went to our first tournament last Saturday. We had to drive hours down to get there. It started at 7 in the morning and went to like 3 in the afternoon. It, but it was so much fun to see everyone fight. Like That was my first time ever seeing a... Taekwondo competition. Like, I've never even seen the Karate Kid. I've never seen any karate or martial arts movies before. Like, I'm such a fake fan of my own sport. I should watch those, seriously. So this was my first time, like, being exposed to what it's actually like, and I was so nervous. It's, like, I had to wait hours before it was my turn. 
and it was so much fun though it was such a big learning experience we actually ended up vlogging it so I'm not gonna spoil everything that happened um, but we vlogged it it'll go up on that YouTube family's channel um, I don't know when but we have it in the works we did a lot that weekend we actually ended up doing a fake skydiving thing too so <laughs> so I've always wanted to go skydiving and I'm trying to convince my dad to go skydiving with me but he does not want to like he is not a fan of the heights which I mean I don't blame him but I think it would just be way fun I need a partner to go with I don't want to go by myself so for Christmas this past year we got um these like sky like skydiving simulator um things tickets so we went and did that this last weekend which seems like weekends ago it seems so long ago and basically you get in this um squirrel suit like you look like a squ flying squirrel a flying squirrel suit then they hook you up to this machine and you have this vr headset on and you literally have to jump off the ground like you're gonna jump off a ledge to go skydiving like off of a plane and so it like simulates what it kind of feels like skydiving they have this giant fan blowing on you too and I loved it. I thought it was so fun. <laughs> um, it wasn't scary for me at all. But, I mean, if I, like, actually went skydiving, obviously it's going to be way more scary because I knew that whole time I wasn't actually skydiving. Like, in my head, like, I knew it wasn't real. But it was fun. And we filmed that, too. We got footage of that. Um, we went to Ikea last weekend, which some of you guys are like, that's so random, but we don't have any of those cool stores by us, so we, we shopped around at Ikea, we filmed some of that, and we've got Raisin Cane's, which has, like, some of the best chicken. It was a good weekend. Um, oh, wait, is this someone's happy birthday? Happy birthday, if it's your birthday in the comments. Oh, Izzy, happy birthday! <laughs> oh my gosh, I just read Carolyn's comments. She said nobody. And the editor for Gertie and Therma, and then the... How do you even describe that face? The uwu face? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know what she's talking about, um, we posted a video today on the Audrey and Spencer channel of Spencer reacting to Gertie and Therma. And oh my goodness, I was dying of laughter. I love to watch the Gertie and Therma videos. I mean, they're... Like I said in the video, they're my favorite videos of all time. I, I've always said that. Um, so I was having a blast. Spencer was so funny, though, reacting to it. Um, so, yeah, go, go check that out. That, that just went up right before the live stream. I'm going to need a smaller paintbrush, I'm realizing. I'm starting to get into the little edges. Isn't this just so relaxing, though? Ooh, Elizabeth said that they're going on a holiday tomorrow. Where are you guys going? Also, did you guys have spring break already? I think I asked this weeks ago when Spencer has a spring break, but then I've realized that spring break for college students and spring break for like everyone else happens at a different time. So did you already have your spring break or is it coming up? And what did you do or what are you going to do for your spring break? Wow, I have to get in all these little nooks and crannies. This section's gonna take me a while, I think. This is a pretty big area. I didn't realize I had to mix stuff for this, though. That's gonna be interesting. Also, Jake and Ty are going to be live streaming after this um, at 5, so like in an hour, 20-ish minutes. They're playing Among Us, and I'm going to be joining them, so if you want to come play Among Us with us, then go subscribe to their channel, Jake and Ty. But, yeah, that's going to be happening after this live stream. Wow. Do you guys have any fun plans for this weekend? Let me know. This weekend for me is going to be pretty chill. Which, thank goodness, because these past couple weeks have been crazy. Have been literally, like, it's been so booked. And it's going to be even more booked. Like, the month of June, man, is so packed. Like, every weekend I have something going on. And April, too. Even, 
I guess May, not so much May, but April and June is gonna be crazy. April is tomorrow. Can you believe that? And Utah just keeps deciding to snow. I feel like I complain about this in every live stream, but for real, can we just stop with the snow? We've had, no joke, like I'm not even exaggerating, six months of snow. We've had half a year of straight snow here. I think it starts snowing in like November. So yeah, six months of snow. I just want it to be spring. I just want to wear short sleeve shirts again and go hiking and play pickleball or tennis or a travel or do something like yeah I just want to get out and feel the sun <laughs> fluffy the sheep said Easter break just started in the UK wait you guys call it Easter break is that the same thing as spring break or is that a whole different is that a separate holiday Anissa says we are going to zipline and I'm going to go to Kauai and we're gonna do a roller coaster. What? That's take me with you. That sounds so much fun. There's a roller coaster in Kauai. I've never been to Kauai, but my family has, and I'm a little jealous. It sounds like an amazing time. I think they have a lot of chickens there. Like Oahu has a lot of chickens, but I've heard that Kauai has even more chickens. So you're gonna, you're about to see a lot of chickens. <laughs> just roaming the streets too like it's just so funny uh live 64 says same i'm going to go camping in may on my birthday oh happy early birthday and camping sounds so much fun i want to go camping also take me with you you guys have like fun plans I just want to do anything outdoors. Literally, like, take me to Hawaii. Hawaii is amazing weather right now. <laughs> or any anywhere else that's not Utah and snowy. <laughs> Are other states just as snowy? Like, okay, for those of you who don't live in Utah, is it snowing for you or is it bright and sunny? <gasps> Sean says, I'm, oh, Brimley. Brimley says, I'm doing an elephant paint by number. I wish I could show you. Oh! I wish you could show me too, but I, I'll imagine it in my head. But I'm so happy that you're uh, you're doing a paint by number with me. I love that we can all do this activity together. And Ellie says I'm doing my own color by number two. Yay! I didn't even realize it's called color by number. I've always called it paint by number, but I guess it can go by a lot of different names. Where do you guys get your paint by number sets? Do you go to a craft store? Do you order one? I'm sad about the custom one that Spencer got me though because like those things aren't cheap and all the paint is dry and it's probably my fault, uh, it most likely is my fault, for waiting like two years to start on it. But I had like lots of other paint by numbers I was doing and yeah, now I just have to mix all those paints myself instead of using the ones it came with which is gonna be hard unless I try you guys as hacks um, and try to revive the paints I might honestly end up doing that because I'm desperate to get those paints back uh, Hallie says just buy new paint for it I did I did buy new paint for it it's right here I bought a whole packet, 48 tubes of acrylic paint today, but the sad thing is it's, it's not the same because it's not the exact shade uh, that I need. So I'm going to have to do some like mixing colors and stuff. Ooh, Jennifer says I'm doing a red rock paint by number. Oh, I love red rocks. So pretty. So when you guys do your paint by numbers, uh, what do you guys do? Like, do you just do it in silence? Do you watch videos while you do it? Do you listen to podcasts? Do you listen to music? Do you do it with someone else? I have not met another person who's just crazy about paint by numbers as I am. Like, I've had, I've like, I've done paint by numbers with Spencer before, but like, he's not super into it, and I've done some with my friends. But, like, I've never met someone who's just, like, 
will sit down for five hours and do this with me. <laughs> so I, I always end up doing it by myself, and I usually end up listening to either a podcast or I can't really watch videos because it's hard to split my concentration between a video and the canvas. So this has to be something that I'm listening to while doing this that I don't have to like stare at. That's why I thought this live stream would be fun because if you're doing this with me, you don't really have to necessarily look at this screen. You can just listen. Aw, Andrew says that they watch me when they paint by number. Aw, that's so nice. Alexa says I'm doing a color by number on my phone. What apps do you guys use for your color by numbers on your phone? I should get that. Because like, when I'm like waiting in places, like in lines and stuff, and I never know, like I don't really have many games on my phone, or I never play games on my phone, but I should do those color by numbers on my phone. In situations like that. <gasps> Rose says I'm doing a Harry Potter diamond painting. That sounds cool. Okay, if you guys have Instagram, you'll have to take a picture at the end of this live stream of what you were able to finish, and then tag me in it. I want to see what you guys ended up doing. If you don't have Instagram, that's okay. Uh, but if you do have it, I do want to see. Maybe it'd be fun to do like a TikTok live stream because I think it can guest people and they can show me what they're doing. I don't know if you could do that on YouTube though. Carly says, do you have any paint by numbers techniques? I didn't know that there were paint by numbers techniques until this instruction said that there are some. What I like to do is I end up picking the smallest paintbrush, like this. This one's a very fine paintbrush. Now this is just a cheap paintbrush. This is the one that came with the kit. Nothing bougie, it's probably like literally less than a dollar. So they have like the thicker paintbrushes like this, and then they have like the tiny, tiny, tiny bristle ones you can barely see. I like going with the tiny, tiny ones. It just looks more like neat and pristine. And then yeah, my techniques, usually I just go by one number and I do all of that same number. And then um, I move on to the next one, stuff like that. But today we're just kind of switching it up. We're, we're not following the Audrey rules today. We're being rebels. Um, oh, Rosie says, I'm doing a diamond painting of Stitch, and it's, like, one of the bigger ones, and these ones take me for over a year to do, so that's so fun for me. <laughs> oh, I so feel you. <laughs> it is so fun, but it's also, like, you're just crying inside. But it's so rewarding when you finish the painting, and you're like, I did that. Like, that took me a year to do, but the feeling of being consistent with it and actually finishing what you started is so rewarding and like it's a piece of art that I will never get rid of and granted maybe they're not like the coolest art pieces ever but I can say that I've made them I've had people come over and like compliment me on my paint by numbers paintings not knowing that I made them and then I say oh yeah I painted them they're like what and then I tell them that it's a paint by numbers and they're like what <laughs> like that is the coolest thing ever like just it, I mean, it takes forever to be super nitpicky and neat and in the lines with these things, but being able to trick people into thinking that it's an art piece that you bought, like, that's just so funny. I love that. <laughs> I also think this is just a great gift. Like, if you want to give this to someone for, like, a birthday or Christmas or, like, any event, really, like, it's something that you put your heart into, and, I mean... The only money it costs is if you need to buy a new paint by number set or paints or whatever. And usually when you buy the set, like, it comes with the paints and the paint brushes and stuff. So I just, I don't know. I like stuff like this. And then, like, you, it's, like, kind of sentimental because you remember, like, what you were doing at the time that you were doing this and, yeah. Got it. This section is really big. What do you guys, what are your guys' techniques when you do paint by numbers? Maybe I need to uh, learn some new techniques. 
I've actually never really talked to other people about like paint by numbers stuff because once again, I've never met anyone just as interested in this as I am. So let me know. Bazid says, my technique is outlining it. Comes out so neat. <gasps> Actually, that's kind of genius. I need to do that. Because sometimes, as you guys have seen me doing, like right now, I like start in a section and then I move over here because I kind of get bored of this little area. So then I move over here and then I like move back. But then I forget like where the edges were that I'm coloring in. So outlining the whole thing I'm adopting your technique. I can't do that right now with what I started, but the next section that I start, I'm gonna outline it first. Thank you for sharing. That is genius. I don't know why I didn't think about that before, honestly. Also, sorry if you can't see my face when I'm doing this. Like I said, I have to be so close to the canvas when I'm painting. That's why we have a close-up cam or paint shot and a little 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 face shot for me right now. <laughs> oh, Alexa says mine is to go backwards because it's simpler. Oh, so do you start at like the biggest number and go down to one? Or do you like start with the tiny ones and then go to like the bigger sections? You guys like filling in the big sections first or like the tiny, tiny sections? Honestly, I like doing the big ones because it's just like immediate gratification. Like it's just like, oh, look how much stuff I got done. Because you can see all the work that you did. When you did a tiny little square like this tiny one right here, it's like you didn't do anything. <laughs> Carly says, it's sometimes hard to find all the numbers. I know, sometimes I miss numbers and I have to go back to them. And then I just hope that I didn't cover them up with a different color. Which mistakes happen, but like Bob Ross said, it's just happy little accidents. <laughs> Molly is wondering what I'm painting. I'm painting a beach with a lighthouse at midnight with a full moon. <laughs> I'll show you it when I'm done with this section. I just can't stop. When I start, I can't stop to finish this area or else I'm going to forget everything that I've done. Jack Bricks a lot says, yeah, you should do like a vid with your fam. That's like a painting challenge. We actually have filmed some of those. So recently we filmed a Bob Ross pa painting video, but like no stopping. And you know Bob Ross, he is fast. He is so fast. He can do a full on painting in like under 20 minutes, which is absolutely insane. I can't even imagine. I mean, come for me who does literally something, fills in the lines for a year. Like, he just creates this stuff from scratch in under 20 minutes. I, I just, I can't even. But anyways, we tried following his tutorials without stopping the, his tutorial. And, but on many, many, like, baby canvases. So it is so funny. Um, I think that one's coming out. I don't think it's out yet, but that one should be out soon. So we have filmed some painting, and we're doing more drawing challenges. Um, and I also filmed a caricature art challenge with my family, so that'll come out on National Cartoonist Day. <laughs> I filmed it for National Cartoonist Day. Look how pretty the sky is, it's just so blue. And I'm trying to make all the blue streaks even, so you can't really tell. Uh, especially Sophie says, Audrey, should I try a paint by number? I never tried it in real life, but I did on an app. Yes, do it. It's so fun. Um, I will never tell you to not do a paint by numbers because I love them. I honestly should be sponsored by this. Like for reals, for how much I advertise paint by numbers, guys, <laughs> please sponsor. I don't know who I would reach out to sponsor me, but I would love to do one. <laughs> honestly, though, that video would take months in the works unless I change my technique or something because <laughs> I am so precise um oh dead cat 
that says odd. The paint by number app I use is Happy Color. It's so fun. Also, you should do a vid on trying people's recommendations for paint by number apps. And if you do, make sure to do my recommendation. <gasps> that is a good idea. Writing it down. Writing it down. I'm gonna. I gotta take my phone out. Testing paint by number apps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wrote it. <laughs> I do love your guys' recommendations, so if you have any video ideas, drop them in the comments. If you have any video ideas, honestly, for Audrey and Spencer, that's what I need video ideas for. Like, something fun that you would love to see me and Spencer do, uh, let me know. Those videos go live the week they're filmed. Um, like my main channel videos I'm pretty far ahead in because I mean I could just go and film with my family but with Spencer he's super busy he he's doing school and work and just all life stuff that we film those on Monday and then we post them on Friday so we don't have a we don't know what we're filming for next week's video so if you have any ideas uh, we would love to hear them says I have one called paint by number coloring game. Fluffy the sheep says can you do another Animal Crossing live stream? Literally I was just thinking of Animal Crossing right now before I looked up to read the comments. <laughs> like this music kind of like lo-fi music kind of gives me Animal Crossing vibes. Does it give you guys the same vibes? Um, but yes I love Animal Crossing. It is my summer game. No joke, all of my games have a season. <laughs> right now, my season is Sims. I've been playing a lot of Sims. I can tell you the whole drama with my Sims because there's a lot going on. It's not the Sims that I film my live stream. I have a different family that I play off streams so that I don't get too ahead without you guys with the ones that we do together. So if you guys wanna know about my family, my sim family that you haven't seen, <laughs> let me know. But an Animal Crossing Live would be very, very fun. We literally only gonna get two sections done today. Like, it's already been an hour. We've already streamed for an hour. How have I only done this much in an hour? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, Hallie says you should do a no recipe bake off. Writing it down, writing it down. I think we actually, um, I feel like we did some of those with, I did those with Spencer like two years ago and they were so funny because we just had to do it from memory and we have no, we had no baking skills. I mean, I have a little bit more baking skills than I used to. But like we would have to make recipes from scratch without anything, or we'd have to make meals from scratch without following a recipe, which I never do. Like I always follow a recipe, no matter what I'm making. Even if it's mac and cheese, I follow the back of the box. I just don't, I don't like just know how to make stuff. <laughs> testing out your fans' recipes. Okay, writing it down, testing out fans' recipes. Uh, we did something similar like that. I asked you guys for your favorite recipes that I made. I made them in a video. I think it was a couple months back. That was so fun to try. You guys had some really good uh, favorite foods. Ooh, Jay Mika says, who can make the best cookies challenge? That uh, cookie bake off. Okay, I gotta write it down. One minute, I gotta finish this section first. What's your guys' favorite cookies? Mine, I mean, basic, but chocolate chip, you can't go wrong. I love chocolate chips that just melt in your mouth. Like chocolate chip cookies that you pick up and it crumbles. Like that's how soft and warm they are. Am 
the best part about acrylic paint is that it dries fairly. Okay, well, <laughs> that actually, what I just said is uh, two sided because. The best part is that it dries quickly, like on your canvas, so you're not like smudging it constantly. But that's also a downside that I'm realizing, because I just completed at the beginning of this live stream how my paint, my acrylic paints have all dried out before I even use them. So I guess it's a double-edged sword. Um, but when we did that Bob Ross tutorial I was talking about with my family that we filmed for them, that's coming out soon, um, we actually used oil paints which is my first time ever using oil paints and it's actually uh, the medium that Bob Ross used. He loved oil paints, that's what he used. Oil paints though stay wet and that's why he uses them because it's easier to like blend and to build upon oil than it is acrylic. I don't know if I go back to oil paints though. It was hard. I feel like I'd have to be a master painter for oil paints. I'll stick with acrylic. Even like I prefer acrylic over watercolor, honestly, because watercolor is too much of a mess. It like it blends too much. I need something that like like I don't know, something good for beginners, and I feel like that is this for me. But I have never tried um, the Bedazzle or the Gems, uh, like the Diamond Paint by Numbers, where you like put gems on instead of painting. I should try that. I want to. Jordan had one that she was working on. I don't think she ever finished it though, but um, one time she came over, I think it was when we did like a super girly day, we filmed that video, and I like was doing my, my Paint by Numbers and she was doing like a Bedazzle one. So when she comes home, we'll have to do more stuff like that together. Lover said, Audrey, do a video. Um, where was it? For you and Spencer being parents for a day with Jake and Ty as the kids. <laughs> that would be funny. Honestly, just like a day of us all hanging out. That'd be fun. We could like, I could see us like doing a lot of fun stuff. The, the thing is that Jake and Ty are pretty much like they're really independent like they can they can fend for themselves when they need to like they know how to make the basic foods and they know they, they, they can be responsible I mean obviously they don't they can't live on their own they, they don't live on their own but a little bit more than just like watching babies or kids <laughs> Jake's gonna be an adult this year and Ty he's half my age but he is just as tall as me now which is crazy how has he gotten just as tall as me like when Jordan comes home he'll probably be taller than me and then I'm gonna be the new short stuff which is so sad I don't want to be the short stuff well I've always been short but like that's his title not mine <laughs> Every day we see each other, though, he always, like, goes right by me. He's like, oh, wait, who's taller? He compares. Lily says, I am a half inch taller than you. <laughs> so you are five, two and a half, I'm assuming. There's a lot more people that are 5'2 than I realized, though. Like, I I mean, in school, I've always been the shortest person in my classes. But there's actually a lot of other YouTubers that are 5'2 as well. And, I mean, never realized that. But we're all short queens together. Okay, I'm going to turn this. Because when I do my payment numbers, I have to, like, turn the board sometimes. Oh, no, now I... Oh, there we go. <clears throat> um, 
Jay Mika says, when is Jake and Ty going live tonight? It's 6 p.m. for me here. What time will it be for me when they go live? If it's 6 for you right now, they are going live at 7. So like in an hour. Well, even like less than an hour, like 55 minutes now. We'll probably end the live stream like 15 minutes earlier than usual because I'm going to be playing Among Us with them and I need to get ready for that. So, uh... We probably won't go for the two full hours, but honestly, I could do like a five hour paint by numbers stream. No joke. <laughs> I could be here all night, guys. <laughs> but that won't happen. Not for today, at least. Can you imagine? <gasps> Should I do a 24 hour paint by numbers challenge? <laughs> My eyes would go crazy by the end of that. I think I would only see him blur. And like, I have pretty good eyesight too. <laughs> oh, that would wreck my eyeballs probably if I did a 24 hour paint by number. But like, I think I, it would definitely speed up my process of finishing a, a painting in less than a year. So maybe it's good for me. Especially Sophie says, Audrey, you should do a cook dog treats in a video of a bake-off. <gasps> like a dog treat bake-off? We can make like, and then the dogs can be the judges? Ah! I think that is so cute. Wait, I gotta write that down. One minute. Okay, one minute. Bring out my phone. That's a cute idea. These Bake Off videos actually have taught me a lot about baking. Like, it actually really has improved my baking skills. Um... Even though, like, it's still chaotic every time we film a baking video, but, like, I understand more now the process of baking than I did before. Do you see my hat in the screen? You do. <laughs> Trying to, like, watch me while I'm painting. That is so hard to do. Hallie says, can you please do more hiking vids when it's finally warm? Yes, uh, I want to. It just hasn't been warm yet. Honestly, at this rate, you probably won't see, like, an outdoorsy video to the end of summer. Like, uh, with it being how much of a blizzard. Like, let me let me look outside. Is that snowing right now? I don't think it's currently snowing, but uh, it was snowing this morning. And uh, we we used to be able to see the snow or the, the, the grass outside let's just say we can't see the grass anymore again <laughs> so that's fun for us but i will i want to film some hiking vids some outdoor content do you guys like vlogs like should i do more like random vlogs of my life and like what i've been doing i don't know or do you guys like more of like this sit down um not sit down but like you know, like our, the normal content that we film. We're getting closer to finishing this section. Bazid says, I love vlogs. I've been actually kind of thinking maybe I should uh, vlog a little bit more recently. Like, maybe I should vlog. Like, it'd be, maybe it'd be fun to do, like, a vlog of our week with Spencer. Just, like, film some clips throughout every day for the week and then post it on the Audrey and Spencer channel. I just think those videos are fun, at least for me, to look back on and be like, oh my gosh, this is what I was doing this year at this point in my life. And, like, look how much different it is now compared to what I'm doing. 
I don't know. I always think my life is not that exciting because, I mean, it's my everyday, my normal. But I love watching other people's vlogs. Like, I love watching other YouTubers' vlogs and what they've been up to. And that's their normal for them. Like, they probably think that their vlogs are so boring because that's what they do every day. But for me, it's exciting because it's different from my everyday. So, maybe I just need to have that same attitude. <laughs> I don't know. done with this section <gasps> I can't believe it Angel says the Hawaii vlogs were great oh thank you so much I still can't believe I went swimming with sharks like a sh like a shark was so close to me probably less than five feet away like and I heard whales it was insane I highly recommend swimming with sharks like that is a scary thing but honestly it was way way more peaceful than I thought it was going to be. Like, when you know that there's supposed to be, like, a swarm of sharks around you, I feel like that's... <laughs> like, this sounds so weird, but I feel like that's less stressful than if you weren't expecting a shark to be in the water and then you saw one shark by you. Like, a swarm of sharks that you know is supposed to be there is way less stressful than if you were just swimming and there was one shark that you didn't know that was supposed to be there. Especially, like, going into it that I knew that I was in it. I paid to swim with sharks. Like, I woke up at 5 in the morning and paid money to be surrounded by 12 sharks. That is crazy. Uh, always Brooklyn 55 says, who is your favorite YouTuber? Oh, uh, that is so hard because I have a, I'm subscribed to a lot of people. I actually consume more YouTube than any other, like, social media or, like, uh, like, more than, like, Netflix or, like, other streaming services. Like, I just watch YouTube. Um, so I watch a variety of people. I think my, like, one of my favorite YouTubers that I watch is Mia Maples. Every time she posts a video, I always watch it. Um, she kind of is, like, similar contests, so like, kind of like what we're doing now. She doesn't do paper numbers, but she's really into, like, the crafty stuff and, um, like, testing stuff out, and I just like watching that kind of stuff. Who do you guys like to watch on YouTube? I'm always uh, in the search of new creators to watch because sometimes I like literally watch everything in my subscription feed. I'm like, well, now what? <laughs> oh, everyone's saying me. They like to watch me. <laughs> You guys are the best. <laughs> That's so sweet. I mean, I assume that you watch me if you're on this live stream. <laughs> but if this is your first time that you discovered me, hello. We we always make pay by numbers live stream. This is this is a normal of our channel. We always do pay by numbers on here. Just kidding, but that'd be fun if we made this the normal or like just in a just in our routine doing like a paint by number thing every every so often for a live stream I think it'd be fun it'd be fun if we like continued this and then we had like a big celebration we finally finished this paint by number it would literally probably be in a year when we finish this but it'd be fun to do a like we like we finished it finally <gasps> and then I do a giveaway and I give it away to one of you guys oh actually that sounds really fun Okay, did I do it all? Did I finish this section? <gasps> Let me look. Is there any areas that I missed? I'm trying to look super close. I think we got it all. Yes! 
Sometimes I forget to breathe when I'm doing this because I'm so focused. There we go. Let me show you what it looks like. Ta-da! What is this? I just realized that it came with a paintbrush on the back. <laughs> We're like an hour and a half-ish in of painting and I literally just discovered the paintbrush it came with. I've just been using my paints from, like my paintbrushes from my other paint by numbers. But here's the painting. We have so far, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> All right, we got that section. Let's move on to the next one. Um, ooh, Angel says you and your family should do an exact instructions baking video. Let me write that down. Exact instructions. Wow, I spelled instructions really amazing. I, sometimes I just... My fingers just like type and type and I'm just like, oh yeah, Siri will understand. She'll just auto-correct it and then like it's so bad that she doesn't even know where to begin. Oh, Anissa says, Aj, can you do a vid of doggy update with Atlas and Logan? And how old is Logan and how old is Atlas? So, uh, I filmed a video of uh, um, throwing a doggy birthday party for Logan and Alice that's coming out soon. We usually try to celebrate their birthdays at the beginning of summer or like around springtime. So Atlas is turning three this year and Logan is turning 10. How? How is he turning 10? That is crazy. He's a little old man. And Alice, we got him during 2020 COVID era, COVID year. And he's already three. Okay, which section should we work on next? Ooh. Which one? Where should we go? Let's see. I want a new color. Um, I'm looking for another big color. Should we do 15? That's down here. Or we could do... Was 11 the green? I think 11 was... No, that was 7. We could do 11. 11 would be kind of fun. Wait, no, we just did 11. Literally just did 11. Um, we could do 10. 10 is way up here. I gotta see if you can see it. I gotta scoot my chair back. Okay, there we go. I think 10 is like up here. Let's do 10. 10 is a lighter blue, I think. Yeah. All right, this is number 10. So this was 11, what we just finished. This is 10. We'll see if you guys can tell the difference. <laughs> So I have some water off to the side. You guys can't see that. That's what I'm doing right now. I have like this little water container and some paper towels to like rinse my brushes and dry them off before I start on the next one. Okay, number 10. These are very nice paint tins. I wish all the payment numbers were like this, honestly. I highly recommend this. Baz it said, oh, Logan is so old. I know. <laughs> Makes me so sad. We've had him for so long. And you guys have been with us throughout the whole journey. Like, we have some very early videos of us with Logan. Like, I think I did, like, a furry friend Q&A at the beginning of my channel, like, almost 10 years ago. And he was just a tiny little puppy. He was so stinking cute. Now he's a little grumpy old man. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still he's such a good boy like he is so obedient and like so like we can just trust we can trust Logan like if if we ever needed Logan to like protect us I know that he would or like like we know that he won't I mean I don't think he'd run away ever more than Atlas. Atlas is a little crazy man, but Logan, like, he's such a good boy. He listens to us, and he understands what we're saying. Like, he can, he knows what you're talking about. He's so smart. But, he's such a good boy. I love Logan and Atlas. What? Okay, Kimura says, what color is on top of the blue? So... Right now, the, so the first thing we started off with is this green. Oh, then we did this dark blue, and then we did, we're doing this light blue. The Q 
is supposed to be, I don't know. Q is a mix of colors. I would do these ones, but they're all the letters, and I have to mix paints for that. And I don't want to get into that right now. That seems so complicated. I think I want to start mixing colors when I'm done with all the numbers. So that way I don't like need to like worry about like um like not having enough paint for that certain number. And also like once you mix the color, you really need to like do all that letter because you don't want that letter to have different shades of that color, if that makes sense. So that, that that'll be a little bit more complicated when we get to that point. Yeah, so there's some paint by number sets that you buy and you have to you just have to mix all the paints. And then there's some that just come with it pre-mixed. So I guess this one comes with both. Baza says you should do a you should do a surprise party when Joran comes back. I am starting to make a list of all the videos that I want to film with Joran when she comes home. Like she better be ready to film because uh, I have so many good ideas <laughs> and like there's so many fun challenges that we've come up with and like did for the first time while she was away and I just think it would be fun for her to do them with us when she's back that she's never tried before. Lily says, I finished my online paint by numbers. Ooh, I wanted to see it. If you have an Instagram, tag me. I'll go on Instagram after this live stream and see what people have tagged me in and comment on your paint by numbers if you have one and you tagged me. Oh, also my Instagram is all around Audrey. Same name. Baza says, what will next week's live stream be? I don't know yet. Should I do a poll at the end of this and ask you guys, or should I surprise you with a random game? What do you guys want to see? Carly says you should do more tie-dye videos. That would be fun. I love doing the tie-dye videos. Very fun summer activity. Like once it gets hot outside, I can't do the tie-dye videos now because we would literally be freezing our booties off. <laughs> There's no way I could do tie-dye outside and tie-dye inside sounds like a mess, but once it starts getting the slightest bit of warm, you bet your bomb dollar I'm out there. Like I'm out there soaking in those rays, doing all those summer activities. just literally a blizzard here at one point during the winter it was colder than antarctica granted right now it's summer for antarctica but yeah we dipped below the current temperature of antarctica that's just crazy like what how we were in the negatives my poor canadian friends out there you guys are probably like <laughs> your winter is nothing <laughs> like I can only imagine what you guys are experiencing <laughs> I've never been to Canada in the in the winter time but I've seen and I like I've watched videos and I've heard that it's crazy Jay Mika says, I'm doing a dog paint by numbers for my teacher. She said you need to have a name. I named him Atlas. Oh my gosh. Ah, that is so cute. 
cute. And that's so cute. You're doing it for your teacher, too. It's a cute gift. And his name is Atlas. Does he look like Atlas? Like, what kind of dog breed is it? Sandra says, it's spring and pouring rain where I am. I love the rain, but not if it turns into snow. Like, we, we've had rain the past couple days, but I was like, mm, I don't like this rain because I it just turns into snow right after. But I love, I love, like, summer rain where it's just, like, so calm and relaxing. You just go to bed to, like, raindrops on your window. That's, that's nice. Well, I think we finished this section. I'm just making sure that it's all even and not super streaky because sometimes like I fill in some areas more heavily than others and you can tell like the paint lines. I just want it to be smooth. Actually, sometimes I do like seeing paint lines because like it gives it life. Like you can see the artist's touch to it, which I think is cool. I love texture on paintings, but I want to try to make this one as even as possible if I can. There we go. <gasps> Yay! I think that was the uh, number 10. Let me show you guys a uh, face cam of it. Ta-da! <laughs> Look how much we got done. Okay, let's do another section. Where should we go? I wanna do another color, a new color. Um, Baza says it's so hot in Florida. I bet. I mean, I lived in Florida for 10 years, so I, I understand. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> but I'm kind of missing that right now. Do you want to swap, do you want to swap places? Cause, uh, I'll, I'll take some of that nice Florida heat. If you, if you want some, if you want to just cool off a little bit, we, we can swap. That, that'd be fine with me. <laughs> um, Brinley says it's raining here in Brantford, Ontario, Canada. Yeah, I thought it would be. <laughs> it just seems so cold there. Brinley says, where did you get your hat? I got this frog bucket hat off of Amazon. Um, what? <laughs> Olam says, you should do a put your pillow on your fridge day bake off. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Put your pillow on your fridge. <laughs> Okay, um, let's figure out what other section we want to do. Where should I go next? We could do four. What's four? Let's see what color number four is. Ooh, four is this like creamy, uh, yellowy white. Let's see. Can you tell? Wait, uh, this, the camera angle is so hard. Is this one? This is number four. Where's my beauty guru hand? There you go. Yeah, now you can see it. Uh, maybe, hopefully this is visible on camera. We'll see if you can see this one. <laughs> oh, are you crusty? Mm, she's in the beginning stages of crustiness. How? How does it dry so fast? I have never even opened it before. We do not accept crusty up in here, okay? Crusty be gone. <laughs> Someone should honestly, that would be a million dollar business shark tank idea. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> make like a paint by numbers or like paint crusty. It could be called crusty be gone. And it gets rid of like chunky. Oh, okay. This acrylic. Yeah, this one is a little interesting. It gets rid of the chunky acrylic. Like, we're dries. Like, we, we need that in our life. Krusty be gone. <laughs> I would buy it. I would buy 10 bottles. <laughs> if it meant saving my paints, I'd be all in. I'd be the investor. <laughs> so funny. I So, a couple months ago, like, right around the time I went to Hawaii, I got so into watching Shark Tank. Like... 
but like specifically Shark Tank Australia. <laughs> because I would watch it on YouTube. I'd watch the YouTube clips of it. And they I don't know if they have like the US version on there, but they have the Australian version on there. I think I've watched every single episode of Shark Tank through YouTube of the Australia because I that's all I would watch. Like for a full month, I just watched Shark Tank. So I got like really into like the Shark Tank like business talk where it's like, oh we got to invest in this and <laughs> it's just so funny. It helps you understand business a little bit better, kind of. And it's cool to see, like, what ideas people come up with and, like, I don't know, what stuff works out and what stuff doesn't. It'd be fun to, like, buy some Shark Tank products for a video and test them out, see if they're just as cool as they make it sound on TV. Um, Jamika says, is Katie going to play Among Us tonight? I think so. I'm not absolutely sure, but I think she is. I don't know who, like, I don't know who's playing. Pretty sure, well, of course Jake's playing. I'm going to play. I don't know if Ty is playing. I assume he is. Uh, and I assume Katie is. I don't know about David, though. We'll have to see. We'll have to see who joins. But yeah, that's going to happen Half an hour on Jake and Ty. We're almost done with this section. Yeah, this is a very light yellow. Can you guys even see it? Like it's like barely visible. <laughs> also, do you guys have any Easter plans? Isn't Easter next weekend? That is so crazy. Do you guys have Easter traditions that you do? I gotta show you the beginning stages of Krusty with this in a second when I'm done. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I think I did it. All right, beginning stages of Krusty. Oh, this is hard with the lighting, can you tell? Okay, especially, where is it? Oh, uh, uh, this right here. Like, it's still liquidous, I can still pick it up. But my paints have, like, the other paints that I have, not with this paint set, complete Krusty. Like, you can't even, like, poke it. Like, it just bounces back like a rock. Yay! Okay, well that section is complete, if you can tell. It's very, very light. It's kind of neon, honestly. Um, Lily says, not really, just ham noodles, and my cat's birthday is on Easter! Happy birthday to your cat! Ham noodles? I'm assuming it's ham and noodles, or is it ham noodles? Let me know. That's that's cool. We I think we have ham on Easter, too, but we don't have noodles, so that's cool to see what other people do. Um... Sandra says, I'm in the Easter drama at my church on S Saturday and Easter Sunday. Oh, that's cool. I don't even know. I don't know what an Easter drama is, but I would like to learn more. <laughs> Maybe explain it to me what an Easter drama is. Um, Marina's Random Room says, one Easter tradition that I have is we make Rice Krispie Treats nests and then put jelly beans in the nest. <gasps> oh, I literally filmed an Easter bake off that's going up like at either on Easter what, what day is Easter is it on Sunday I don't know or Saturday I'm gonna film it or I'm gonna post it on that Easter weekend but that's the treat I made in that bake-off and it turned out real good um Angel says no Easter plans but it's my favorite holiday I'll be going to church though yay that's awesome it's your favorite holiday Bazit said my birthday is on Easter well happy early birthday Okay, let's pick another color. 
Should we do 10? 10 is like the little splotches here and there. Oh, wait, we already did 10. Why do I keep picking 10? We need something new. We could do 9. Did we do 9? Wait, no, let's do even lighter. Let's do 9. Um, Kimura says, and you should do the Elders Bake Off when Joran comes back. I think that would be so fun. I would love to do more Elders videos. We haven't had an Elder, we'll have to have an Elders reunion when Joran comes back. Okay, oh, I'm getting paint all over my fingers and I don't want to transfer it to the canvas. Okay. Number nine. Okay, um, can we just talk about for a second the Whopper YouTube ad? <laughs> this is so random, but I hate that song so much. Like, for reals, for a month straight, the only ad I would get on YouTube is Burger King's Whopper ad. It's like Whopper, 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 Whopper. That thing, oh, it is so, it's so annoying. And it's on Spotify. It's like a full song, a minute long song that they just repeat. And a Ty loves to play that over and over again. <laughs> like you just start singing it randomly. And once you get that song stuck in your head, it won't leave. And he's found like remixes for it and everything. Like it is, ugh. Why, why, why do fast food places gotta be making catchy songs though? That song, man. I get that, and then, like, Elf's, like, the makeup brand, Elf. I get their, like, lipstick ad all the time. Face like this, mwah. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> oh, like, and then I get insurance ads. Like, why? Why? That's just so random, the stuff that I get. Do you guys get those, or what, what kind of ads do you get? <gasps> Marina's random room says, I had the same hat as you, but it fell in a lake. That is so sad. Oh, that's dumb saying. You gotta get a new hat. Yeah, this hat is not secure. If there was, like, a tiny bit of wind, it would go flying off my head. So I can see how that happened, actually. Bazit said, hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac, Walter. <laughs> Isn't it, like... Junior double triple whopper flame toes. I don't even know. Ty knows the whole thing. He knows all the lyrics. <laughs> Kaylee's Avengers said, get car get car insurance with Geico. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Wait, what color am I on? Nine. Like am I filling in something that I'm not supposed to be? So he does says, I also have the same shirt as you, but I dropped it in a lake. <laughs> what? <laughs> that... <laughs> how do you, how did you, how, what? <laughs> That's funny. This shirt I actually usually wear to like skiing trips because it's like a long sleeve shirt, but it's not super thick. So it's good for like layering on. Um, Cause when I go skiing or ice skating, I bring my coat, but then I get so hot and sweaty because it's a workout to ski and snowboard and ice skate and all that stuff. So I end up like usually unzipping my jacket and or taking it off completely. But most of the time just like unzipping it because it's just so sweaty. Um, so I still, like, I want, like, a long sleeve, but, like, not super thick. Because then I get overheated and it's just not fun times. You guys see what I'm doing? Can you see that? Is it a dots over here? It's like this very, very light little blue. It's so pretty. It's like a good like little accent. This is the moon right now that we're working on. And then outside of here is like the sky. It's gonna be different shades of blue. Of 
before the night time. Oh my goodness, and Yusa says, my sis had the same pants as you, but it was too big and it fell in the ocean. No. <laughs> well, um, the pants I'm wearing right now are Lulu's, and uh, they're tight. I don't know how they could be too big, but that is so funny. We're gonna, we're gonna start this trend. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Kaylee's Adventure says, you need to hold on to your stuff, better laugh your face. <laughs> What? Okay, Asnabaj. I definitely said your name wrong, but they said, do you like snow? Because it is so hot where I live. I miss snow and I need it. Oh, can we trade places? I like the snow for November and December, but after that, when it, once it's January, it can go away. We don't need it anymore. We've had it for six months now. I'm sick of the snow. We need warmth. It is so cold here. Yeah, there's lots of these like little like random splotches of the nine like it's just all over i'm gonna be filling in that's why i like the tiny tiny brush because you can get in these tiny spots precisely it'd be so hard to do this with a big brush like you don't need a fancy brush to do paint by numbers either like Again, I just use the cheap brushes it comes with in the mail. And then if I want to shape the brush, because sometimes it has like these little uh, frays on it, I just take scissors and I just chop, 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 give a little haircut, shape it the way I want. I mean, not professional, but you know, it works for what I need it to. So, and I don't feel bad about it because it's not a fancy brush. <laughs> But I like brushes that are like very thick and condensed, like that can hold its shape. Because when you need to get in those little cracks and crevices, you need like a fine, pristine brush. One that's not gonna like bend and like go outside the line, you know? If that makes any sense. Okay, well, we're not done with the nines, and it's gonna be a while before we're done, but I might have to end the stream soon. Because we're gonna be streaming Among Us. We're gonna go from calm, calm, chill, pain by numbers live stream to like chaos and stress <laughs> on my brother's channel. But I think we got we got some good work done today. Again, it looks like we got nothing done. Like if you look at my canvas, does it look like I did anything? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it doesn't look like I got anything done. Yeah, we didn't even use this cam. <laughs> Maybe I'll use it in a future one, but like look! So I'll give you like a little zoom in on my nice camera. We did little palm tree at the beginning of the live stream, like a, f a leaf frond of a palm tree. We got a big chunk of the sky. We got some of the blue highlights I was just working on with the moon. We got that white yellow splotch and some blue splotches up there. We got a lot more to go. Like, I'll try to get in there. Do you guys see how tiny these numbers are? Close up. Like, that is insane. It is so small. So, we got a while to go with that, but am I gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to end the live stream here. Um, this is so fun. I don't want it to end. I, I like, that's crazy. It's already been two hours. See, this is how I can go on for five hours doing this because it feels like you haven't gotten anything done, so you just keep on going. And it's just so fun and chill. But we'll have to do it another time. Did you guys like this? Do you want me to do more paint by numbers live streams? Or do you want me to do like a paint by numbers video? I don't know. Let me, I want to hear your thoughts. Maybe we'll add this to the routine. Um, Stainmore says, how old is Ty? Ty is 13. 
I think he's 13. I think he's turning 14 this year. That's crazy. Yay, okay, you guys like it. You guys love it. You can do both. So you wanna see more Paint by Numbers live streams than a Paint by Numbers video. Uh, Brinley says, I really want to hear on what you say about my Paint by Number. I am pretty close on finishing it. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, if you wanna send me a picture of it on Instagram. Okay, well, I'm gonna end it here so that I can get ready for Jake and Ty's live stream. We're gonna be doing Among Us, and we're gonna see who the imposter is. So if you wanna come join us, um, if you wanna join us, Jake usually gives the code out. So um, however many people can get in, play, and we'll just swap and stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for joining today's live stream. This was so fun and so relaxing. I'll try to figure out the audio for next time for the music. I mean, at least we got the mic working this time. <laughs> I feel like every live stream, there's something goes wrong. Either cuts right off in the middle or there's like an audio issue. This time the music was a little weird, but I'm I'm glad like it was fine. But I'll, I'll try to figure that out with Spencer before we do another paint by numbers one but yeah I'm proud of what we were able to get done it's, again it's not a lot but I mean over time we'll fill this in and it'll be a good little fun chillax session so hope you all have a great rest of your Friday and a great weekend um, and I'll see you next Friday I think it's next Friday can I do it let me see I think I should be I think I'm planning on doing another live stream next Friday yes so I'll see you next Friday. It's Good Friday next Friday <laughs> for another live stream. Bye, everyone. Love you all.